welcome to another edition of Knox to Nuggets. My name is Oluwa Yomiuti and I'm so glad to be with you today. Um, I want to talk to you today about a part of life that we so readily ignore. It's part of everyday life. But many times we just take it for granted. We, we forget that we cannot do it on our own. I'm sure you're cracking your head. What does she want to talk about today? What exactly is she talking about? Is about waking up in the morning and gratitude to him that woke you up. Now I'm sure I took you off guard. You are not expecting that. But we take it for granted. We take waking up so much so for granted that we, oh, I woke up late. Oh, I woke up early. Oh, I woke up. Somebody woke you up. If you think it's an alarm clock, carry the alarm clock to a mug. Carry it to a burial ground. Make it not just an alarm clock, make it a bell. Make it a siren. And let me see how many dead people will get up. The truth is this, you did not wake yourself up. God did. Many went to bed like you did, but did not wake up. And we take it so much for granted. And we just go, we carry my safe. It's part, yes, just a norm. You know, it's not. It's something to stop and be grateful for. Look, if you're not grateful for the little things, you can't appreciate the big ones. Waking up is a big deal. That's the truth. The fact that you're alive, there's somebody has given you the opportunity to see one more day. If God does that and takes the breath, you would sleep and that would be it. But He has not allowed it. He has allowed you to see today. So it's the gift of today. It's called the present. It's a gift from God. So, now you wake up in the day, what are you going to do with it? What gift will you give back to the world for being alive today? You just breathe in oxygen and walk around adding no value? Today is called the present. What present are you bringing to your generation? What present are you bringing to your family? What present are you bringing to your friends? What value are you adding to them? Don't be one person that will walk through the sands of time unnoticed. Don't be somebody that would go and just be like any other. Decide to add value to your world today. That's the only way you can tell God thank you for the opportunity to see another day. Don't waste this opportunity of today. Do something today that you tend to be grateful that you had this opportunity. What can you do, you might say. I'm just in my little corner. What, what can I do? What can I add? A smile. A word of encouragement. A book that you would read that will make you better. That will make you give back to the world a better you. It's part of the present. Improving yourself to be a better person is part of it. Improving your world by working better is a part of it. Look around you. What can you add value to today? It might be a phone call to a friend. I remember the story as, I, as, I, as, as I'm talking to you and I just flashed my mind. Someone went out and saw a young man and said to talk to him and encourage him. And guess what? The young man was at the verge of committing suicide. And the guy said, why, why are you talking to me? I promised to go home today and commit suicide. And here you are, you are talking to me. And he dropped his weapon, a suicidal weapon. He turned a new leaf. He actually gave his life to Christ, interestingly. And today his life is different. And he was saying to the person, my life would never be the way it is today, if not for you. You stopped me from committing suicide. Who will thank God that you are alive today? Who will thank God that he met you today? Who will thank God for the gift of you in his life or in her life? Don't just go through life like another, another person. Go through life deciding to add value. Go through life with a meaning. Until I come away with another edition, don't forget this. Together we win.